Hey, what up fuckers? It's your boy Abel from Project Rogue coming at you today with another script breakdown. In this series, we break down the scripts that are live within Project Rogue Roleplay. We show you how they work and we show you some core functionalities of the script. Let's not waste any time today. Let's hop right into today's episode. Today's episode, we will be revealing and featuring our brand new advanced mechanic systems coming to every mechanic shop at Project Rogue. These new systems will truly immerse the mechanic into their work and feel like a real life mechanic. With every part as a tunable item, this is a true car fanatics paradise. Let's go ahead and take a deep dive into our brand new mechanic system. Once a mechanic shop is set up, it is ready to go and start taking on clients. Each mechanic shop will have to purchase parts in order to be able to install them. For instance, if I want to be able to supply paint or brakes, I have to purchase them as a mechanic owner before my employees can install them. We will take a more deeper dive into that in just a little bit but let's go ahead and take a look at what the mechanic will do in order to customize this vehicle third eye in the vehicle will open the catalog for the driver if there is a driver present the second option is ordered tuning this is the list that the customer wants to install to their vehicle let's go ahead and hop in this vehicle Doing command slash catalog and then the player's ID will populate the mechanic menu for the customer. This enables your customer to be able to customize their car to their liking without you having to be present. You can walk around the shop freely and let them do their thing. You will then return once they have completed their list. The menu is very user friendly and easy to understand. Quick control buttons were added to the bottom left in order for the player to change their camera, turn on their horn and lights. The player can click around the vehicle to move the camera in order to see what they are editing. In the bottom left as well, you can see the total amount that you will be spending on the vehicle's upgrades. Let's go ahead and start upgrading this vehicle slightly. If we click the paint option, we can go ahead and take a look at all of the primary colors that this shop offers. We will select the only color that this place offers, which is black, and we can see that they offer all types of black. We can see that the price changes on certain types of paints that might be more expensive for the shop to acquire. The player will need to either confirm their selection or cancel the selection. Once they have confirmed what they want, it will total the amount in the bottom left. There are a wide number of paint jobs to select. However, I'm gonna speed this clip up because there's no reason to waste any time. Once you are completed, go ahead and scroll all the way to the top of the menu and hit back where you'll take back to the main menu. Let's go ahead and take a look at some appearance options. We're just gonna select a simple spoiler. We'll go ahead and confirm this selection. As we see, the price did rise and now the mechanic can do the work. The customer will hit order and the car will default back to the original settings of the vehicle. And now the mechanic can third eye the vehicle and hit order tuning. A nice easy to read list will populate to the mechanic showing them what you have ordered and what they need to do next. As we see here, I hit the paint job option and now it tells me I need to drive the vehicle into the paint booth. This is how every action of the job coordinates. It lets the player know where they need to go and what they are to do when they get there. Here you'll see me drive it into the booth and I will step out of the vehicle and step on over to the overpaint. A nice little context menu will populate saying to hit E and now we let the system do its thing. All effects, emotes, prompts, and particles are synced with the server, meaning all clients see them in the area. This is a brief glimpse at what you will expect with the system. All parts are just like this paint. They are all physical items that you have to walk around the shop in order to execute. Now that we have our car painted, we can park it back into the bay and start the work on the spoiler that we ordered. Here it will highlight the area for the player to go to collect the spoiler part. Once the player presses E, they will grab the spoiler and they have to walk it over to the car. Running has been disabled when parts are in hand to prevent looking weird running with a part. The player will then install the part using a progress bar and it will show the progress of where they are at. Once the progress bar does wrap up, you will see that the part installs and the mechanic is now done with this work order. Each vehicle has built in data to them to make them into a class. 
For instance, this is a very low tier class car, so we can take a look at the performance upgrades and check out engine. Here we see our stock engine and all the way up to an EMS upgrade 4. If we click that EMS upgrade 4, we see that it's $3,723. We'll go ahead and hit order on this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a more expensive car like this Komoda. If we take a look at this vehicle's engine upgrades, we can see that it's quite a bit more expensive than the Panto. This means that each class of vehicle is sectioned out and makes more sense than a Panto costing the same as a Bugatti in upgrades. We'll also take a look at this Bravado to see what this engine upgrade is like. As you can see, all cars are going to differentiate in classes. When a mechanic receives a large work order on a vehicle, it all cascades the information below and will highlight each piece of the car on where they're going to be working on. Here, we are installing a turbo to this Komoda. Once installed, we should be able to get into the vehicle, hit our radial menu, and go to vehicle and hit stats. This should show us that our turbo is now set to one. Every single part that is ordered on the vehicle will be done through the order tuning section. Simply open the order tuning section, see what the customer wants, select the option, and follow the instructions on the screen. It's that easy to be a mechanic, and it's that immersive around the shop. Now that we have shown you how the mechanics will install the parts, let's take a look at a vehicle that might not be classed yet. When you're working at a mechanic shop, a car could come in like this one that is not categorized. When you do catalog and their ID, it'll show a notification in the top right, letting you know that you need to contact an admin. Let's take a look at that one more time. I will do command catalog and my ID, and it lets me know admin must use tuning categorize. Now that an admin has connected via myself, I will do tuning categorize and show you what an admin will do. A menu will populate for the admin, letting them know to put the car into the correct category. Here, we'll put this one into the high category, which is the 140. And now we can do catalog one, and we can see that I can now open the menu. Let's now go ahead and take a quick look at our stancing. To stance a vehicle, the mechanic simply drives it into any bay that says G, stance vehicle. Once they hit G, they will have a menu populate to them where they can now stance their vehicle. They can either adjust suspension height, any offset on any side of the vehicle, and any wheel width. Please do note that some vehicles do require the vehicle to have custom rims on them and not the default stock rims. Once you have completed the customer's request and you have gotten it to be where you want it to be, you can simply hit backspace and hit save changes. And there you go, you now have a stanced vehicle. Next, let's take a look at if we were the boss of a mechanic shop and how we can operate our business. If I do slash job, we can see that I am the boss. Let's go ahead and take a look over at our computer and see what we can manage. Here, we can see that we can either buy upgrades, sell upgrades, or change our margin. Right now, my margin is set to 20%. Let's go ahead and set it to zero for now. 
This means that my shop will make no money. This is how much money it costs my shop to put in the upgrades. Here, we can buy colors, we can buy appearance, performance, we can buy any type of upgrades that we want for our shop. Once we buy these upgrades from this menu, that means our shop can now install these mods on a car. This price reflects how much the shop will pay for the part, not how much the customer will pay. This is a one-time buy, and if you ever do want to sell upgrades due to the shop either not selling them or it's not a hot commodity, you can simply go in and resell them back for a small portion. Next, let's take a look at the margins. Currently, we set it to 0%. Let's take a look in our car and see what a spoiler cost for this vehicle at 0%. As we can see, a spoiler cost $2,417 at 0%. Let's go ahead and adjust those prices just so we can demonstrate what it does. Here, I'll set my margins to 20%. If I go ahead and I hop in the vehicle now and I check the spoilers, we'll see that the price has changed. It's no longer $2,417, but now it's $2,901. As we can see, changing our margins makes us more money, but less competitive with pricing in the city. This gives a competitive nature in the mechanic market instead of everyone selling the same thing for the same prices. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a quick preview and a quick glance at our brand new Advanced Mechanic Systems coming to Project Rogue very soon. We hope you enjoyed the video today, and if you did, please feel free to like the video and give a comment in the comment section below what you're most excited for about this new system. If you yourself are looking to do these awesome things within Roleplay, then look no further. Head on over to www.projectrogueroleplay.com today to get whitelisted. Alternatively, you can find us on Discord at discord.gg slash projectrogue. We hope that you have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video.